Hello everyone, I am from Clover Fusion Practice Team. So, in Oracle Fusion, we have various features that helps an organization to have a comprehensive cloud-based HR solution designed to manage various aspects of human resources. So, one such aspect under HCM is workforce development. Managing employees of an organization includes many tasks and one of such is managing the development goals and plans. So, to complete this task, we take the help of Oracle Fusion Cloud Career Development. In this video, I will be demonstrating you how an employee can add development goals. Also, how can a manager add development goals for the employee? So, we start with setup and maintenance. We go to actions under actions we have go to offerings so on the left hand side we can see a list of offerings provided by oracle fusion, fusion cloud one such offering is workforce development we no, just need to make uh, ensure that workforce development is selected okay on the right hand side uh, the status is enabled and we have an option as opt-in features we need to click on opt-in features We can see a list of uh, values under workforce development, human resource, business intelligence, analytics and so on. But in workforce development, we can see an option called as career development. You can see that it is already enabled in the system. But at times it might happen that it is not enabled. So we need to ensure that it is enabled and then we can we have a edit option under the features. Okay, click on features, edit. Once you click on edit, uh, you can find a list of values naming such as completed goal edit option, development goal sharing. If the as per the custom requirement, we just need to enable and disable accordingly. Okay. So once the career development is enabled, the employee, the managers and the HR can add career development goals and plans for accordingly. Okay. So now the next next task is to log in as an employee and add development goals. I have logged in as an employee. So under me, we have an option called as career and performance. All the tasks related to talent management are available under career and performance. So today we are going to see career development. Okay. Here we can see uh, it is mentioned as we details about your development plan, career interest and career exploration. Okay. We are going to go ahead and explore the tab. Under career statement. The employee has added a statement stating that four years that she or he has a four years of experience in financial planning and analysis. As you can see, the title of uh, employee is he's she is designated as a executive. Okay. Now the next step is to add a development plan. As you can see, one development plan is already added. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more development plan. Okay, now we have a library goal. This library goal is present in the goals management where a certain set of goals are already predefined, meaning that same set of goals can be used uh, by multiple employees in the organization, okay, which can be used multiple times. So that is the meaning of library goal that we do not need to define each time uh, differently, okay. So I'm not going to select anything from the library goal, but I'm going to create a goal on my own. Okay. As you can see, there are goals, the category as well. So the goal is team building. Private. If the employee opts for private, only the uh, employee can 
uh, see this goal if it is public if like we do not enable uh, we do not click on uh, private then this goal can be seen by the whole organization the goal the employee which adds on his behalf can be seen by the whole organization if the private is unchecked okay now in description i'm going to uh, write something about a uh, team building okay it is not mandatory as you can see there is no asterisk in there so you can skip that part as well okay now status if the goal has already been started then uh, he or she can offer in progress if it is already completed they can uh, click on completed so now it is not started i'm going to uh, select not started next is when is this goal going to start okay so let's just skip today's date if there is a deadline that this goal should be completed by this date by within a week or within 15 days or within a month then we need to add the completion date then what's category we have uh, three categories one is short medium and long so according to the uh, goal we need to define the category so i'm going to select short term goal okay next we have is target outcomes like if the employee completes this goal what would be the target outcome like uh, sometimes it might happen the uh, goal might be uh, to enhance the presentation skills in that uh, if there is any outcome going to come out of it then we need to select it accordingly okay if there is no outcome we can skip this part as well okay as you can see these are all part of the profile management a license and certification competencies these are all part of the profile management next we have is measurement if the goal needs to be measured in uh, what we say percentage uh, or number so you can see the unit of measure if it is going to be measured in currency number or percentage then we need to add a measurement to it now our team building is a very short uh, goal so i don't think it is necessary to add a measurement so we can just skip this part okay all of the below fields like the target outcomes measurement task and learning these are uh, not mandatory so the employee or the manager or the hr can skip these fields okay so now under learning we also have a, a module in hcm that is olc oracle learning cloud so whatever courses we are going to add whatever content pdf we are going to add all of those will be available under the learning section so if we click on add we will get a list of learning items available which are already uh, like uh, available in the system so here we have the learning options so i'm going to go ahead and select one of them so now whenever the employee is going to try to complete this goal uh, he or she needs to uh, also complete this course okay since we have added the learning okay once all the fields of uh, like updated we need to save and close this way uh, an employee can add an uh, development goal from the end okay so now the next step is like how the uh, screen is visible to the manager and how the employee can add in development goal for an employee so i'm just going to log out as an employee and log in as a manager So manager managerial activities are all performed performed under my team. Okay. Okay. As you can see, Pooja Sharma. We are going to click on the employee's name. This is the uh, employee screen which is visible to the managers uh, through the managers end and when you click on show more a list of values are shown on the left hand side. So as we are seeing career development we, go, we are going to go ahead and click on career development. 
see the same page which the employees uh, can see from the end is visible to the manager the career statement the career outlook the development plan which was already present and which we just added so all of that is already present so i'm not going to add one more uh, development plan this is just a gist of how the manager can uh, see the development plan which is already added by the employee and how they can also they also have the option here to add a new development plan on behalf of the employee okay so thank you